Hello. We got a bad hair day going on today. But, um, yeah, uh, today we're going to talk about what's been bringing me down, I think. Not everything, because, you know, but just a couple things. First of all, kind of want to start with the situation I've been going through of my significant other. And um, and my son, with my son, everything is cool. Kid is the best. He's amazing. Couldn't ask for anything better in that department. But as far as like you know, my partner goes and everything. You know, just been dealing with, dealing with a couple of things, not a new regular life stuff. And um, you know, this time around, I kind of feel like it, it, it's different for the simple fact that you know, I'm actually trying 100. percent I'm trying. to be the best possible me that I can towards them. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm constantly being countered by uh, by her. So, you know, I, I sat down, did about, I've been doing all of this for, my, for myself, really. But um, I sat down and I did like a couple pages you know what I'm saying, about the issues that I have going on and everything. And, you know, just to get a better understanding of why everything is working out the way it is or why I dislike certain things or why this doesn't work out, you know. I learned that writing is actually a, a really useful tool when you want to when you want to figure out your issues because at the end of the day, you only really know you. So... No, yeah, you could ask for as much advice as you can. You could, you know, ask for other people's opinions and everything. But at the end of the day, you know why you're doing everything you're doing. So if you know, then the best way, or if you know you know, if that makes sense, then the best way, me personally, would be to um, write things down because then you're able to get into more detail. You... You, you think of something, but you don't forget it right away, you know. If you write it down, you could always come back to it. It's a good, uh, it's a good tool that I use to um, to get through my issues. And um, it clearly, every time, it's almost like a, like a clear answer to your problem. So for that reason, you know, that's why I've been doing that. And um, through it, I kind of learned that, uh, you know, all, all my downs, all her downs, all my pros, all her pros, and I kind of found out that um, I'm not happy. And, um, you know, I, I try and everything. I love her to, to death. But, um, you know, ultimately I'm not happy. I feel like I'm being countered in every in every aspect um, when I want to do something, when, um, when I do do something, um, if I'm doing something, um, you know, it all gets brought up to the past, what I've done in the past. I'm still the same person in that person's eyes. So, you know, things like that. And it sucks because you try, you try. And, you know, I could only really be upset at myself because I'm the cause of it, of it all. I'm the cause of the way she feels. I'm the cause of everything. But at the same time, a wise man once told me about a week ago. Don't let someone else's... Don't let someone else bring your flame down because their flame don't bright as much as yours. Something along those lines, you get the point. And that quote right there touched me because it's true. That is some of the... Like, those, those are, like, the perfect words that I needed for the situation. Because, yeah, I know that, uh, you know, once upon a time I was wrong. Nowadays, I feel like I'm just doing the best that I could to kind of make everything work. But, again, I feel like I'm being countered in every aspect. If I try to do something like this video, before, before anything, she already knows it all. You know what I'm saying? Meaning constantly creeping, constantly going through my stuff. I feel like I have no sense of privacy. Um, 
she has terrible communication skills, I think it is. And, you know, she's so stuck in her ways that, you know, it's like whatever is in her head, that story, that whatever it is in her head, whatever new things come to her head negative, negatively about me will always be flipped worse than what it is, I think, because of what she has in her head. So for that reason, you know what I'm saying, it hurts to to let go of the person that you really, really want. And I understand wanting to build with the person. If you really want the person, you work you work with them. You you work through their issues with them. But in this case, I don't think that there's anything that needs to be anything else that needs to be done work wise, you know? I feel like if you if you wanna fix yourself, you gotta do that on your own. I could push you and I could motivate you to do as much as you want, right? I could push you, motivate you, do whatever I want you to do. But once we're there, it's up to you to keep going forward. I can't continue to pull your hand and drag you. And, um, you know, it's up to you to really decide, like, okay, now do I want to be my own person or do I want to continue working beside this person? And, you know... It's, it's a difficult situation either way because I am strong enough to stick beside her and try to help her out through all these downs, but I don't think she's mature enough to go, go on through it and be strong enough to, to kind of come out on the